Retailers are finding new ways for us to shop on our phones. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Going shopping on your phone can sometimes be a bit of a clunky experience. Sure, you can easily search for a specific thing on Amazon and buy it with one click. But if you want to browse, like you do at a mall, you might be opening up multiple apps and websites for each store. Or you may just use Pinterest to collect inspiration, but it's not simple to just buy something you see on Pinterest. Well, there are some apps right now that are trying new methods for mobile shopping. You may have heard about Fancy. That's sort of like Pinterest. You can follow other users, but you also can purchase what you see right away. And there's a brand new shopping app getting buzz. It's called Spring. It acts like a virtual mall with storefronts for 70 brands tucked inside of it. The app claims that 450 brands will be on it by next year. Spring takes a percentage cut of each sale. It has this Instagram feel to it where you flip through photos and it's really easy to buy something. They make it a quick process before you have time to second guess yourself. But this app isn't for everyone. It's focused on high fashion, and that means high price tags. Personally, I rather hunt through a sale rack than pay these prices, but with the way it's designed, I wouldn't be surprised if this model is copied by others. Now, if you're in the market for a smartwatch, this fall will be the time to do some tech shopping. Motorola is holding an event September 4th to show off its sleek, round Moto 360 smartwatch. The first two weeks of September are going to be busy with new product announcements. You have Samsung showing off a new gadget or two a day before Motorola. And then a week after on September 9th, Apple is expected to show off the new iPhone. But let's go back to smartwatches. The fashion brand Guess is working on putting some high tech in its fashionable watches with the help of Martian. Now you may not know about Martian, but they have made several Bluetooth connected watches, including the affordable and stylish Martian Notifier. That's priced at $120. You can find more information about it on CNET. Guess said that it would also work with Martian on other types of smart accessories. But wearable tech is not only about style. Intel is working on a smartwatch that can help with researching Parkinson's disease. The smartwatch is able to collect lots of exact data. So for example, instead of just telling a doctor that you had a tremor, the doctor knows the intensity and exactly how long it lasted. Intel is working with the Michael J. Fox Foundation so that this tech may help researchers better understand the behavior of the disease. That's your tech news update. For more details, you can head to CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.